Okay, changing metric units. Um, in the last example, we had 200, 234 meters. And we changed them to, uh, to things like decameters, hectometers, and kilometers, which are all larger units of measurement than a meter. Now we're going to see what happens when we change 234 meters into a decimeter, a centimeter, and millimeter. So decimeters, centimeters, and millimeters. Well, just to, to set a baseline here, one meter is the same thing as 10 decimeters. Okay, so if you have one meter, if you measure that one meter in decimeters, you would have 10 decimeters. Okay, so let's say this is one meter. One meter. Then this line would also be 10 decimeters. Okay, makes sense? Now, if you wanted to see how many centimeters are in a meter, well, a centimeter is 10 times shorter than a decimeter, which means for every one decimeter, there's 10 centimeters. Okay, so 10 centimeters go into a decimeter, and 10 decimeters go into a meter. So to get from one meter to centimeters, you actually need a 100 centimeters. And then I bet you can guess that for millimeters, you would need 1,000 millimeters to equal one meter. So if you have a meter, or any number of meters, to convert them into a decimeter, you would multiply that number by 10. To convert those into centimeters, you would multiply those by 10. And to convert centimeters to millimeters, you'd multiply that by 10. So if you wanted to skip any of those, you could take one meter and multiply it by a thousand to get to millimeters, or take a meter and multiply it by 100 to get to centimeters, or multiply a meter by 10 to get decimeters. Okay, so let's say we have 234 meters, and I want to convert them to decimeters. Well, I simply need to multiply 234 times 10. Now we can do it this way, where you do 10 times 4, which is 40, 10 times 3, which is 30, plus 4 would be 34, 10 times 2, which is 20, plus 3 would be 23, and then 10 times nothing plus 2 would be... Okay, so 10 times 234 is 2,340 decimeters. Okay, if you'll notice, all we had to do was add a 0 to meters to get to decimeters. Okay, so we're going to use that as a, as a shortcut to convert 234 meters to centimeters. Centimeters. Okay, to get from 234 meters to centimeters, we need to multiply 234 meters by 100. Because remember, every meter has a hundred centimeters. So if we had one meter, it would be a hundred centimeters. If we had two meters, it would be two hundred centimeters. If we have 234 meters, it would be 234 hundred centimeters, or 23,400 centimeters. Okay, does that make sense? Okay, now if we wanted to convert 234 meters into millimeters, we're going to have to multiply the 234 by 1,000. 
Okay, notice when we multiplied it by 10, we just added a 0. When we multiplied it by 100, we added two zeros. When we multiply 234 times 1,000, you guessed it, we're going to add three zeros. 234 and then three zeros. So we have 234,000 millimeters. And this should, this should kind of make sense because remember one meter is pretty large compared to a millimeter. You need 1,000 millimeters for every meter. So if you have 234 of them, 234 meters, you'll need a thousand times that to get to millimeters. Okay? So 234,000 millimeters is the same thing as 234 meters. Okay, now if you use different um, metric measurements like grams, kilograms, things like that, um, you'll convert them the same way because all metric is is in multiples of 10. So you just need to know um, what, what the conversion is and then you're going to either multiply or divide by some power of 10.